Hands together, close your eyes. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Uh, thank you for our life. And I uh, thank you, Lord, for being such a good friend to us. Uh, we pray you teach the children this morning from your word. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, who remembers last week? Here's a hint. Who remembers what evil is? What's evil? Telling the truth? No, that's a good thing. That would be good. But what's evil? Sin. Evil. Sin is a type of evil, yeah? Sin is when you do wrong to other people. You do harm to other people. And who remembers what the topic was last week? I'll give you a hint. Uh. Do you remember? The weeds of evil or the root of all evil? What was the root of all evil? We got roots here. What was the root of all evil? Who remembers? Atticus, you remember? Here's a hint. <laughs> Timothy? The love, the love of money. Love of money is the root of all evil, isn't it? Not money itself. Nothing wrong with money. Money can be used for good. And for bad. It's a love of money. People love money more than they love God. It's the root of all evil. Okay, very good. It's a bit of a review. Okay, today. Hello, Ari. How are you? Good morning. Helping other people. Helping other people. We're going to be talking a bit about the book of Philemon. Philemon. P H I L E M O N. That's one of your books in the Bible. And it's only one chapter. One chapter, kids. So if you go home tonight and you read your Bible and you look up the book of Philemon, one chapter. You can read it all in one sitting. You can read a whole book of the Bible, Philemon. Okay? Philemon. I'll tell you the story about Philemon. I've got some cartoons here for you. So here is Philemon. So Philemon was a you know, person that was quite rich, had some servants. So here he is here in this cartoon. He's wearing the purple. And in the, what's that, what do you think, is that, you think that's red or orange? What do you guys think? What do you think, Sarah? Orange, okay, we'll say orange. So we've got purple and orange. So Philemon is the name of the book, right? This is the name of the, of the book, one chapter, it's a letter, Philemon. And the book is about his servant that ran away. How do you pronounce this? Is it one Simus? No, <laughs> it is Onesimus. Onesimus. Can you say that together? Onesimus. And we have Philemon. Can we say that together? Philemon. Okay, so what happened? Here, Philemon getting a new servant. But what happened? Servant was naughty. He ran away. Kind of went away from his master. Oh, he's running away here. He's hiding. Ooh, are people going to catch him? If they find him, they're going to report him back to Philemon. Oh, he's out. He's run away. And on his travels, on his journey, guess who he meets? Anyone want to take a guess? Who do you think he meets? Paul. Paul. Very good. He meets Paul the Apostle. Remember we learned about Paul? Remember he was on the road to Damascus and what happened? He met Jesus. Bright light. Oh, he couldn't see. Three days, went into Tarsus, oh, into Tarsus, on the road to Damascus, sorry, on the road to Damascus. And then he got his sight back. That's when he believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's Paul. Well, Onesimus, now Paul's already in his ministry, Onesimus meets Paul. And when you meet Paul, when he met Paul, what do you think Paul did to him? What do you think Paul did? Anyone else? Sarah, what do you think? Made him food? Looks like, yeah, it looks like he made him some food. Maybe he bought him some food. They're eating there. What do you think? He told them, he told them about Jesus Christ. Told him about Jesus. Exactly right. Told him about Jesus. All right? So that's good because he's doing the work of God, preaching the gospel. So he meets Onesimus. He preaches the gospel to Onesimus. And guess what? Onesimus gets saved. Onesimus believes on Jesus. See? Oh, shh. 
Just like we need to believe on Jesus. We need to put our faith on Jesus. You guys learn about Jesus? We need to believe on Jesus, like Onesimus. And Onesimus not only believed on Jesus, but he also wanted to do what was right by God. So what happens? Paul knows about his situation with, what was the name of the master? Who remembers? It begins with like a f sound. Philemon. Very good. And what was the servant's name? Who remembers? Simon. Onesimus. Onesimus. And who did he meet? Paul. Paul. <laughs> Paul. He met Paul. So here's him calling upon the name of the Lord. He believes. He wants to do the right thing. So what does Paul do? And Paul does what he does. He gets out a pen writes a letter. <laughs> and who is he writing a letter to? Who do you think he's writing a letter to? Who do you think? Philemon. To Philemon. That's where we get the book of Philemon from. And Paul asks Philemon to take Onesimus back. Right? And then Onesimus goes back to Philemon. So that's what the letter's about when you read through the letter. Some of the things we can see in the letter is talking about praying and caring for other people. So Paul is the example there where he's helping Onesimus get back right with some things he's done in the wrong, wrong in the past. Okay? So we're going to just talk about three ways where we can help others, helping others. So what's one way we can help others? Here's a hint up here. What do you think? What do you think, Matea? You can pray for them. That's right. You can pray for other people. Just like Paul was beseeching Philemon, on behalf of Onesimus, sometimes when we pray to God, that's like we're pre beseeching, we're asking God to do something for somebody else. That's how we can help them. We can pray for them. Look at what it says here in Philemon. There's only one chapter in Philemon, so you don't have Philemon 1, 4. It's just Philemon verse 4 because there's only one chapter. Look at what he says here. This is Paul writing. I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. Wow, could you say that about one of your friends? Could you say that every time I pray, I'm always thinking about you? Like Paul says here, when he prays, making mention always in my prayers. Mention, mention of thee. Who's he talking about? Philemon. Yeah. So one way you can help others, you can pray for them. You can ask God to help them. Isn't that right, Sarah? Yeah. Oh. What about here? What's another way that you can help others? What do you think is going on here? Do you know? Simon, what do you think is going on here? Protecting the boy from a bully. Yeah, he's protecting somebody from being from a bully. See? So one way you can help others is if you help stand up for them. And you can tell the bully no. Maybe they're trying to hurt somebody. Well, you know what? Sometimes the bully isn't always hurting somebody physically. Sometimes they're saying things. It's the verbal bullying as well, you know, when they're saying nasty things. Now, let me ask you, which one do you want to be? You want to be this one or you want to be this one? This one? Is that what you're pointing? Oh, this one, of course. You don't want to be the bully, so we want to make sure we're not being the bully, saying nasty things or doing nasty things, but if we see somebody doing this, hey, we should help. You know, maybe stand up and say, no, you should stop saying it. You should stop doing this. That's one way you can help people. If they're, being in, they're in trouble, you can help stand up to the bully. Bullies don't like people standing up to them. You know, bullies only bully people because nobody stands up to them. All right? But more people that stand up to the bully, less bullies. And we don't want to be the bully, right? Especially you older kids. Make sure you're not bullying the younger children. We need to be this one, protecting them. So, doing things on behalf of people. Philemon 10, look at this. I beseech thee for my son Onesimus. So this is Paul. See, requesting something on behalf of somebody else whom I have begotten in my bonds. What is he saying here? He's saying that's who he got saved. He got Onesimus saved while he was in prison, in my bonds. And the last one. Hmm, how else can you help people? What have I got here? What do you think, Matea? Donations. I think you can read that one. So when you give, maybe you can give something nice to somebody. And doesn't, sometimes when you do something nice for somebody, it takes some sacrifice, doesn't it? Have you ever given somebody a gift? 
Yeah, you have to work hard, you pay for the gift, and then you can give it to somebody else. Isn't that right? So donations, this is how some way we can help people as well. When we help them with things or with food or with money, sometimes we can help them out that way. Look at Philemon 18, this is the last verse I'm showing you. It says, if he hath wronged thee, so Paul is saying here, if Onesimus has done something wrong to you, Philemon, or oweth thee aught. He's saying if he owes you any money, look at what he says here. Put that on mine account. Wow, what a good friend. Can you imagine that? Paul is saying, hey, if Onesimus did anything wrong, or if he owes you any money, he says, I'll pay for it. Put it on my account. Wow, what a good friend. Wouldn't it be great to have a friend like that? What do you think? You guys think so? Wouldn't it be great to have a friend if you did something wrong and they said, hey, if they did anything wrong, put it on my account. Well, you know what? You do have a friend like that. Did you know that? Do you know what his name is? And what's, his name? what's his name? You know this one. It starts with a J. No, Paul, not Paul. It starts with a J. Jesus! Jesus! So you see how there's a picture in Philemon of what Jesus did for us. See, Onesimus did something wrong against his master. And what did Paul do? Paul interceded on behalf of Onesimus. He asked Philemon, eyes up here guys, don't get distracted, eyes up here. He asked Philemon to take Onesimus back. But you know, we have the same problem and we have a friend like Paul was to Onesimus. We have wronged, we've sinned, haven't we? We've committed sins against God. We have a punishment to pay, but we have a friend in Jesus who, when he said, hey, if, remember, what, remember what Paul said to Philemon? Oops, where'd that go? <laughs> Let me show you. Where'd that go? Here it is. If he hath wronged thee or oweth thee aught, put that on mine account. Thank God Jesus Christ did that for us, didn't he? Okay? So I hope you learned a little bit about Philemon today, a little about what Jesus did for you and the friend he is to you. We have to put our faith on Jesus and make sure we trust what he did for us. Okay? So let's just recap very quickly. What are three ways that we can help others? What's the first one? Yes, you can help pray for them. Okay, what's another way you can help? Oh, Jordan, you might not have known this one, but can you tell from the picture what's a way you can help somebody? Protect them, very good. Stop them from being a bully. Hey, you don't want to be this person, right? You don't want to be the bully. Hey, you want to be the person that's helping people from the bully. And the last one, Sarah. Donate, that's right, you can give them something. Give them a gift or help them out. Okay? Alright, we've got some games today, so Philip has organized some games for you. Let's stand up and we'll 